the cheese. 18 year old Henry Black has a smile that brings joy to his whole family. That made it even more difficult for them to see him on a ventilator and heavily sedated as he battled COVID-19. Like March 28th, maybe he just started coughing. Um, he didn't have a fever. By Sunday afternoon, it was a little worse, so we were doing nebulizer treatments. But other than that, I didn't really think there was anything more going on than just some congestion until Monday when I took his pulse ox and it was 78. We called 911 immediately. And so they came and picked him up and took him to um, IU North where they immediately intubated him. Henry was transported to Riley Hospital for Children via ambulance. His parents, Karen and Mitch Black, were symptomatic and therefore were not immediately able to be by Henry's side. A Riley nurse helped bring this mom a bit closer to her son. I said, is there any way he can hear my voice? And she said, sure, there's a phone in the room. You know, they had me on speaker and she just said it. You could completely tell that Henry could hear his mom. They gave him the um, malaria drug and he, he got eight doses of that. And that really did not seem to change his um, you know, his condition at all. Despite multiple different treatment modalities, we had a very difficult time weaning Henry from high settings on the ventilator. And for this reason, we felt that he was a great candidate for convalescent plasma and that it might be one of our last options. The idea is that the plasma from someone who has recovered from COVID-19 can help those who are currently ill. When I signed the consent, by the next day, he got the infusion and I was completely shocked that it was that quick. I walked into the room at that time I was able to come and see him and the nurse took the, you know, took it off of the, the IV bar and just, you know, said, look at this. And it said New York City. And I just got goosebumps. I thought, you know, this is so awesome. Within 48 hours, they saw improvements in Henry. A little over a week after that infusion, he was extubated. After weeks of uncertainty, Henry's smile made its return. Once he was off the ventilator, he was starting to communicate. The old Henry was showing back up. He was smiling, laughing, flirting with the nurses. Um, so uh, we knew that he was back. Even though he has cerebral palsy, he's a tough kid. And it's not surprising to us that he beat it at all, if you knew Henry and how he's always been a fighter. You know, the follow-up that we've been doing with him, everything's been very positive. But yeah, seeing that, the, the recognition of us and this first smile was, I can't even describe the relief. It was really just total relief and just thanking God, really, and thanking everybody, all the nurses, all the doctors. On the day of his discharge, uh, Henry and his family came back through the ICU and it brought a lot of us to tears. Um, it is truly an indescribable feeling of joy to see somebody as sick as Henry make that remarkable of a recovery.